What wonderful words of wisdom have YouTube commenters been leaving me this time? Why the music in your video sounds gay? Well, at least they're improving. Was that the real John claude For serious? If so, how the hell did you get him to do that? Did, did you really think that was John claude Van Damme in my video? Wow, I can't believe you got the real John claude Van Damme on your show! Yeah, me too, and I'm still wondering if it was really him. Hmm... Really? <clears throat> and I never do that with my voice. Let's take another look. John claude set the timer. It's done! Okay. Well... I think I should apply for a job at Industrial Light and Magic. Oh, posts it, posts it, posts it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. Come on. I can't. So excited. Um. D um. Do you think that's good? Is that. Is that good? You have to put the right fucking ingredients in to make a cake, you ace-hole. Well, if I'm an ace-hole for making a crappy cake, then you better loak me away in jail and throw away the koi. I think when you're impressed by pounded mashed potatoes, it's time to re-evaluate your life. You're right. Maybe I should be at that point in my life where I'm putting really sad photos of myself on YouTube and then post comments on videos about instant mashed potato. Okay, getting a little bit inception-y now. Defac? Danger Dolan theme? Danger Dolan? Danger Dolan? You're right, I made the biggest internet faux pas I could make and used the same royalty-free music that another YouTuber used in one of their videos. That'll teach me for not watching every video ever uploaded to YouTube just so I could check whether the same royalty-free music was ever used on that. You are right. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the music. I'm gonna change it just for you, okay? Put a cheese string in there. Okay, um, not really sure. We're putting a cheese string into the happy hot dog man is going to uh, going to achieve. But I'll do it, do it just for you. It's, uh, there you go. Put your mouth in there. And we make. There we go. Right. So we're in the process of making a happy cheese string man right now. Okay, so, uh, there we go, there we have, there we have, a happy cheese string man. Well, don't I feel, feel like a million dollars? <laughs> Canned hot dogs. To be fair, a lot of things do come in cans these days. Like in this one, we have your testicles. Look at that. <laughs> Mike, you know, famous people ignore the comments on their videos, right? Good job I'm not famous then, eh? Thank you for turning an otherwise nominally boring and trivial personal issue into an extremely boring and trivial public issue. Please consider eventually returning to reality, wherein your content was originally enjoyed for its comedy, and not your ability to vaciously detail every aspect of your pedestrian consumerism. Agreed. What's next? Just Mike's commentary on grass growing? And as you can see, the grass is growing very nicely right now. There is a nice patch right around here. It's very thick, very lush. There appears to be a train in the distance going by. And there are birds chirping. And oh, oh, there's a bit there. Did you see that? That grew a little bit. Very nice, very nice. Surely this is a real book. I surely would want to buy it. Yes, my book is real. Good day. And if you want to buy it, the links are in the description below. And speaking of shilling my wares... Hey there, mate. Do you by chance happen to have a Patreon I can throw money at? Link also in the description below. It helps to fund my cheese string man and testicle addiction. Ah, uh, if it helps, me and the husband adore you unconditionally, although the husband goes inexplicably bonkers whenever you bring out your glass cutting board. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me just tap out a formal apology in Morse code. The 
moment he said, let's put it in the oven, I was like, don't you mean the stove? Are you actually putting a frying pan in the oven? Is it like a detachable frying pan slash pot? No, it isn't. He just put a frying pan in the oven. Really? What did you expect? For the food to cook? What were you expecting? I'm not David Copperfield. In fact, there were a lot of Smarty Pants people telling me that I was wrong, but I really shouldn't be surprised because, yeah, the internet knows best. Let's just check the product description on Amazon. Huh, interesting. Uh, what about the manufacturer's website? Well, <laughs> what do you know? Now I promised myself I'm not going to say I told you so. Mike, can you stop doing anything that involves you preparing food? You are obviously the most inept cook in existence and it's kind of painful to watch you try. Well, that's just rude. I can cook lots of stuff. I'll show you. And I'll start with something basic. A pot noodle. Here we go, the good old-fashioned British pot noodle. We get a little pot of soy sauce in there, which we can throw away because nobody likes it. What we do is pour in a bit of water. Up to the line. There we go. Basically, we just uh, we just let that sit for about five minutes. So, how could that go wrong? I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs>